Hey, how's everybody doing today? We're filming a special video today. We're, we're at a graveyard in Pensaukin, New Jersey on uh, Cove Road here. This is Arlington Cemetery and it's the final resting place of uh, Peter J. McGuire, who I think many of you know was the founder of the Carpenters Union, United Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners of America. He's He's buried here in New Jersey. He made his home in Camden for a lot of years and uh, eventually passed away at an unfortunately young age. But we're going to come down here. I'm going to take you to the grave site if I can find it here. And uh, we're going to uh, take a look at the grave, take a look at the memorial, maybe talk a little bit about the history of, uh, of Labor Day because Peter J. McGuire was also the... Uh, the founder of Labor Day led, along with Samuel Gompers, the uh, the first Labor Day parade in New York City in 1882. I think this is this is the grave. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Hey, Pete. Hey, Paul. What's happening? All right, not bad. What are you doing down here? I just came down for uh, Labor Day. Came down to Peter J. Carpenter. I got a couple new flags for him. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna put him at his memorial over there. Oh, get out of town. Yeah, in honor for Labor Day. He is the father of Labor Day. Yeah. You know, and uh, he was a true American. You know, looked out for the working man and working woman. Right. Of that time, you know, and and now today we uh, continue that tradition. You know, so just came down here. All the flags must have got knocked over through the storm. Sure. So we must have had a few weeks back. Yeah, so right now I'm just uh, straightening these out, and then I'm gonna head over there. It's a beautiful monument, though. It's a monument to him and uh, and the founder of the UBC. It says it right there. And it's him and his wife here, and some family members on the other side. If you take a look. Right. Well, I was just filming another uh, installment for my my Peter J. Carpenter uh, series. I do job sites and stuff, but I wanted to come down and. And I knew the memorial on the gravesite was here, but so happy to find you here today. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's great. It's a, it's a really nice little thing. I, I try to come down once a year just to fix it up, clean it up a little bit, maybe put a couple flags up, that's all. Yeah. Jim McGuire, 1852 to 1906. You know, Slowly. think about it, like now we have apprenticeship, we have an apprenticeship now and right. stuff. And, and this man here, he started with a guilt. Yeah. You know, working on their guilds. And uh, hey, listen, without him, none of us would be here right now, you know? Yep. The Carpenters Union itself, Labor Day, you know? And for all those of you out there that, you know, I know Pete's got a big following for all of you that are out there, you know, without Peter J. McGuire, you wouldn't have a Labor Day, you know? The eight hour working day. Yeah. Uh, uh, a break. Uh, of lunch of a reasonable way of life something to look forward to a retirement yeah. all those things that doesn't happen without labor yeah you know so if you want you come with me i'm gonna go head over to the memorial and oh yeah check it out which up. you know the way it is yeah right over there all right and then uh, i'm gonna straighten up I'll, I'll straighten up if anything's knocked over if these were knocked over i'm sure the other flags got knocked over as well all right well, while we're walking over to the memorial and talking about Labor Day, I just want to remind everybody to check out Peter J. Carpenter on YouTube. You can like and subscribe. There's a lot of other videos at job sites and stuff that's interesting, you know, to, to Carpenter. Oh, okay. Is this the memorial here, dude? Yeah, it's right here. Wow. You know, the... Uh... I was talking to a couple of the sisters, and, and uh, they said they came down here, and actually uh, a couple years ago came down here to power wash it, and they did the flower arrangements and stuff like that. Sisters in the Brotherhood? Yes. Sisters wow. in the Brotherhood. Well, well just, look at this. I'm just going to put these here for now, and then I'm going to come back. I just want to get some of these flags and straighten them up. I guess, uh, like I said, it's probably the storm that did this, you know? Sure. So if you're just tuning in, we're in Pensacola, New Jersey at Arlington Cemetery and Cove Road. And this is the um, memorial to Peter J. McGuire, 
founder of uh, the Carpenters Union and founder, one of the founders of Labor Day. You know, Paul, one of the other founders of Labor Day who led the parade in New York was Samuel Gompers. Did you know that? No, actually I didn't. He was the head of the Cigar Rollers Union. Wow. Would you believe that? Yeah, I can believe it. Who doesn't like to enjoy a cigar, you know what I mean? You yeah. gotta have a break though to be able to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Get some reeds out there. I guess maybe the point is, you know, it doesn't really matter what your trade is or what you do. You could be proud to be a worker. You could you could be a responsible working person and, and join your your local labor union, right? And yeah, advocate absolutely. for yourself. Listen, with everything that's going on in today's world, you know, an important thing, and that's to put it out there to the rest of the young people that are out there. You don't necessarily have to go to a college to have a great career. Being a carpenter or a tradesman of any kind is a great and fulfilling career. And there's and being part of a union is only going to allow you to have that better future because one day you're going to you're going to get older and you're going to get tired and you're going to want to retire. And if you're the best at your trade, then you should be treated that way too. And in a union, that's what would happen. Yep. So if I could push, if I could say anything to you or push what I'm, how I truly feel is that without the Carpenters Union, I wouldn't be where I'm at today in life. Sure. My father, my father's a 52 year member. And if I could tell you any of you a story real quick is that my dad told me that when he came to America, he didn't know he was going to make it in this country until he became a union carpenter. He got here in 1962 and became a union carpenter in 1968. And he said to me, Paul, if I didn't get into the carpenters union, I don't think I would have been able to make it here. Yeah, how about that? So that's going back to 1968. Wow. That's the truth. You know, and you got some weeds in here. I'm not gonna occupy all your time from watching me pull weeds. No. Eat, you know, so let me just, uh, I'll, put, I'll put a couple flags up. You can take a big shot of the view, you know? All right. What's happening here. I'm gonna put these over here. Well, there it is, folks. The Memorial of Peter J. McGuire, founder of Labor's Day, founder of the Carpenters Union, a lot to be proud of. I hope you think about it uh, this Labor Day as you got that Monday off. And um, enjoy it with your friends and family, but don't forget the sacrifice and the hard work done by people in the 1880s, making sure that, that trade people of all kinds, working people of all stripe, you know, get celebrated and get remembered. Anyway, signing off for now. Check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. And thanks for tuning in. Take care, everybody.